know we're kind of two years late. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for being here. Also welcome. Welcome to Pima Oseling. Um When we came here three years ago and walked down this little little path that you all walked down and we saw this little gathering, this landing, we just knew that this was the place we wanted to get married. So being here and seeing all of you here, it just feels right and it made everything worth it. So again, thank you and welcome. So as you can see, we are here alone today with an officiant, and that is because we are already married. We did elope already in 2020, and our dear friend Katie Clayson helped us officiate. Thank you, Katie. I wasn't going to get emotional. <laughs> I really thought I had it together, but I'm already... During our elopement, our vows were read in the format of an intimate conversation, replicating the late-night conversations over candlelit dinners, where we always felt the most connected. We asked each other a series of questions about how we fell in love, how we knew we wanted to commit to one another, and what we wanted in the life that we built together. Today, we're going to continue that conversation in the presence of these beautiful redwoods and all of you, our loved ones. At our elopement, we shared things only meant for each other. <laughs> Didn't think that was the funny moment. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That what I look forward to in the life we build together is what is in between the big milestones, like today, the ordinary, the everyday. Between the exhilarating moments, like almost tumbling out of a hot air balloon ride and climbing down some really sketchy ladders off waterfalls, our love lives in the quiet spaces. Ours is a love that instills daily courage and belief that I can and that we can create the life that we want. It is the kind of love that lifts off stolen glances from across the room, reading together before bed, two daily family walks, phone calls for cuddles when I wake up, and every variation of holy parts you can think of. Our love has taught me that it is not what you achieve that makes a life well lived. It is showing up for yourself and for us that makes a life. I want you to know today that I will always show up for you. And I will always show up for us in the big moments. I admire your vulner vulnerability, which lets you connect deeply and gives you strength in the face of all obstacles. I admire your self-belief that shines through in the face of those obstacles. I'm here because I believe in you. I believe in the person you are today and the person you're going to become. And I promise to be patient, understanding, and kind, to listen, to share, and support you on the journey to the person that you become. And I'm here because I love you. I love your nose with its perfect little circles. <laughs> And I love your smile, that warms my heart. And when I make you smile, I get suspended in a state of contentment. And nothing has made me happier than being your partner and playing a role in your success and happiness. For me, every day, we didn't plan that. That's serendipitous. I need you to show up for me every day to help me become the version of me that you see. I need you because you give me direction. You're my North Star. You're my guiding light to love, happiness, and fulfillment. Always be easy. 
there will be obstacles and challenges along the way. But as long as your love shines on me, I will know my true direction. Now follow it. Because at the end is the deepest, fullest love I could ever imagine. But more importantly, you, that I will love you forever. <laughs> and with that, we, we pronounce now. us <laughs> still married. <laughs>